guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And right here, I am just showing you guys what I am going to be using for her set. We are doing a gel X set. This is one of my clients that loves gel X. She is actually one of my clients that also had gotten allergic to their acrylics. So gel X was the next best thing for her and she absolutely loves it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start out by pushing back those cuticles making sure they're up and out of the way Hers are a little bit kind of on the stubborn side So I do have to kind of be careful just because they kind of want to stick more to her nail bed so Yeah, so just be careful if your client's nails are like this just because it could be easy to make that cuticle pusher end up slip and slicing open their cuticle so be very very careful and then now I'm going to go ahead and get a fine sanding band and I am going to go ahead and I was going to sand down all of the tips of her nails to make them nice and short but I did on a few nails and I just decided let's go ahead and go in with the nail clippers because some of these nails are long and I do feel like I'll be sanding for a little while if I do end up doing it. So I do have these flat head nail clippers. I know Montage, they do carry these. Um, and I also got them at Nailies Nail Supplies, but I do not think Nailies has a online page. So if you guys do like these, or if you want, I can go ahead and link them down in my description for you guys. So you guys will be able to find them there. And again, usually I, really do try to link everything down below but sometimes you know things might happen where i don't but if there's something that you do really really want to be linked make sure to give me a comment and i'll go ahead and link it for you i'll be more than happy to do that but now i'm going to go ahead and just remove all of the dead skin around the cuticle and then go ahead and make sure it's all nice and prepped and there is no shine in oils on the nail and she did have a little bit of gel left over on there but it was like almost like flaking off so i was able to get it off with a drill if it was very very attached to her nails and it was really hard to get off i would definitely recommend soaking it just because you're able to get it off without damaging her nails just because especially if it's really really on the nail it's a lot harder to get off but since it was very lightly on there and I could already tell it was peeling away um, normally with when it comes to cases like that it like whenever the gel hits it it will kind of just like end up flaking off so it was already um, time for that gel to come off so yeah and again this is a fine sanding band you don't need to use something super super coarse because you are working on the natural nails and you don't want to be ripping through layers of their nails and then sometimes too um you guys might see me on some of the nails go along the free edge of the nail just to shorten them a little bit more and i like underneath the nails to look very nice and clean too So I like the nails to be nice and filed straight across. Now for my favorite drill bit, I'm going to go ahead and put this cuticle bit on there. If you guys do want this, I highly recommend, do not waste no time, especially if you are having problems with lifting. This drill bit is so great, it is something that I love using, it makes the cuticles look nice, clean and fresh and everything is up and out of the way. Honestly you guys, this is one of the best bits that I have actually used for cuticle cleanup i did used to use another one that was kind of more of um i forget like what the stone is called but it was more of a like a stone one so with those honestly like 
comparing that one to this one, I completely love, 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 love this one. So if you guys are in the market to try to figure out how to keep these nails to stay down, definitely prep the way that I am prepping and add that cuticle bit. The cuticle bit, I feel like, is key. It gets in all those nooks and crannies, and it helps make sure that there is no cuticle on the nail bed. And it is super gentle too, so it's not going to cut your client's cuticles and make them bleed and things like that. It is nice and gentle. Um, something that I do want to let you guys know is definitely don't dig the cuticle um, or that cuticle bit into the nail just because with the rotations on there, it will end up making a divot in the nail if you are not careful. So it is very gentle, but at the same time, if you have it on a very, very high speed, that is not recommended. So definitely make sure you have it on a low speed until you get comfortable with it. And then maybe up your speed once you're more comfortable with it. But again, do not file like dents into the nail and things like that. Just because you're going to cause damage to their nail. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take my cuticle nippers. And I'm just going to go ahead and nip off all of her cuticles. And get it looking nice and clean and perfect. So... The cuticle nippers that I am using, they are from Nailies. The, they're, so what I've noticed over the time of using cuticle nippers, sometimes you guys could get uh, the nippers where it's like the head of the nipper is very, very large. I personally like working with the ones that are on the smaller side. Just because I do feel like I'm able to see what I'm doing. The larger ones, I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like I just can't see what I'm doing with them but I do have some larger ones that I do use just because I don't want them to go to waste but if you guys are in the market for some definitely recommend getting the smaller ones if you guys are new to cutting cuticles and just wanting to see what you are nipping off and so I went ahead and pushed those cuticles back and I dusted them off making sure I got all that dust and then now I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate I dehydrate twice and prime twice that is another important step when you are prepping and you are wanting the nails to last you a long, long time because the dehydrator really makes sure that there is no oils on the nail bed and gets rid of any oils if there are any. But since you remove the shine, there shouldn't be any. So something that I do recommend my clients or I do mention to them is do not touch your nail beds after I prep just because it will end up making it to where your nails don't last as long. So if you guys are a client and you're watching this, definitely when you are getting your nails prepped, you really do not want to touch the tops of the nails because any of those oils in on your fingertips, they do end up actually making it where your nails will pop off sooner or they start lifting sooner. So definitely make sure you don't want to do that. I know sometimes it's for people to just out of habit they want to get that nail dust off so they'll start like kind of like flicking it off and things like that but stay clear of that now i'm going to go ahead and go in with my young nails primer this stuff is the bomb i've been using this from the beginning and again if you guys been having a rough time with retention and things like that I really recommend getting a primer, even trying out this primer. I heard the Valentino one was good also, but I have yet to try it. I do want to try it just because it does come in a larger size. But something that I do want to mention is that when you are using primers, a lot of times they are like water. So I do tend to knock this one over quite a bit or I end up spilling it on my desk and things like that. So sometimes having the smaller one for me is actually great so now I'm gonna go ahead and get that dehydrator and with that dehydrator I'm actually going to be etching the back of the tips with doing this it really allows the nails to grip on to the other nail I really love using this method other than filing I mean you can do the filing method the filing method is great but I do feel like just I do not like having the dust all over these tips and I don't want the dust to be ending up um, stuck in between the nail the nail enhancement and her natural nail and I did have some people ask me why on one of my videos why didn't I put a base coat of the extend gel on my clients or it was my sister's set that I did she wanted to know why I didn't do 
a base coat for that and honestly you guys it really just depends on the client some clients I do it some clients I don't um, it just really depends on the shape of their nail and if the gel wants to cooperate with me and kind of go where I need it to go some clients I do feel like I don't know it's like the shape of their nails I do feel like it's a little bit harder and some clients I do feel like it's a lot easier getting the gel where I need it so I'm gonna go ahead and get my light nice and close I love this light just because I'm able to hold the top and then hold it from the bottom unlike um, using my flashlight the flashlights awesome too I do really like the flashlight but when I seen this lamp I was like you know what I do actually like this quite a bit I do feel like you have to make sure that you have it on a certain area just so it doesn't tip because the top since the light is so large it kind of more wants to tip over if you end up swiveling the the top of the light completely on the opposite side because you're able to swivel it um, 360 degrees which I love that but it does end up kind of tipping over but it is a rechargeable lamp so it's great because you don't have to have wires all over your desk and things like that and that's kind of something that I look for just because honestly you guys I hate the wires the wires drive me nuts so having this honestly is a total gem for me there is another one that I've been kind of eyeballing but I don't know if I should just stick to this one or maybe even just get the other one I don't know I keep going back and forth but it's because the other one that I've been seeing all around it only has one light in this one I believe it has yes it has eight lights so I feel like the eight lights it does really help making sure that the whole nail is cured um, but yeah so I I feel like that is definitely personal preference I'm sure you guys know the one that I'm talking about it is a gooseneck lamp one and it only has one light bulb so I do feel like you would end up having to have that light bulb making sure that it was definitely like on top of the nail and directly on top of it so that's something to kind of keep in mind this one I don't feel like you have to be like point on just because there's so many lights under the lamp So I do like to only do the, I do like to only do the lamp for around like five seconds, pull it away, put it back for another five, and then making sure that they're all adhered. Some, it does take a little bit longer that depending on how close I have it to the lamp and how far and things like that. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, but I feel like with this lamp, it does it's it does its job you know but um yeah so definitely recommend trying this and hopefully it works for you just because I feel like using this for me it's actually a lot better than having to use my Archon mount which if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that I would actually tie my my flashlight to my Archon mount and I had to make that work for me <laughs> but I mean I feel like sometimes when when you try things and if it works for you keep on doing that you know
place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself You won't understand it All alone, that's okay People like it, stand them They don't want me to change Keep me where I'm standing And I don't wanna be where I am And I want something more Take a chance It could be possibly my last dance My last dance I don't wanna let myself Down myself Alright you guys, now time for shaping. I am just using this teeny tiny file. Um, I feel like this was actually better than using my 8080 grit. I do feel like sometimes I do end up going to my 8080 grit and I do feel like um, those ones are more expensive. So, and I don't feel like for these sets, I do need a big, big file like that in it for it to be super, super coarse. So, these ones, they work great for me. They get the job done. And they are cheaper. I believe it's like a dollar or two dollars or maybe three dollars for a pack of these versus it's thirty-five dollars for a pack of nail files. So definitely if you guys are doing gel X, I definitely recommend getting a pack of files like these just because you're actually able to save money and keep your price point low when you guys are doing um, your client sets of nails. But she was going for more of a rounded type of nail. She didn't want to do too much almond. So we did end up rounding them out quite a bit for her. And I know I forgot to mention the set that she was using. But we did end up using the natural short stilettos. And those ones worked just great for her. I feel like they were a perfect length for the style of nail that she was trying to go for. But I do feel like even though these are a short nail, I do feel like they are kind of long. But again, they are the natural stiletto short nail. And in this box, it does come with 500 pieces. But I definitely recommend if you guys are looking to order a box of these tips, I definitely recommend getting that size zero um, adding that to your cart when you guys are getting these just because I do feel like sometimes when you get them and you're working on clients I feel like it's always good to have that larger size just because you, it covers the whole entire nail and you don't have to worry about anything like that or a size not fitting when it comes to their thumbnail
All right, so right here, I'm just making sure that they are matching and they are not cousins, they are sisters. So I want them to be exactly the same. Um, I want them to be twins. <laughs> so yeah, we wanna make sure that we are going in and making sure that they are the same. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this five and one bit. If you guys don't know, this is one of my other favorite drill bits. If you guys want this, I'll go ahead and link it in my Amazon storefront so you guys can check this out too. But I love this fit. I love the shape of it. I love that it doesn't have like a super strong right angle at the tip of it just because you are less likely to cut your client, but you're still able to get in the nooks and crannies and making sure that you are blending that tip at the top. Before I would use an Arbor sanding band, but if you are comfortable with the drill, I definitely recommend trying this one out because it smooths them so nicely. I will run, run away, I don't have to plan it. I can go, change my fate, you won't understand it. All alone, that's okay, people like it, stand them. They don't want me to change, keep me where I'm standing. And I don't want to be where I am. And I want something more, take a chance. It could be possible. Right, you guys now I'm gonna go ahead and get my 180 grit buffer I love these buffers these buffers are great I feel like they're the perfect size just because a lot of times if you end up buying the full-size ones I do feel like the price point of them and how often you have to throw them away and stuff and it is just for buffing it's not for shaping and things like that I feel like it hurts my soul so if you guys are able to get your hands on something small like this or if you're able to get your hands on even the smaller ones I know some people they use those but I feel like with me the smaller ones I feel like I end up having to use two anyways so I do feel like this one's great and I'm I don't have to have my fingers so like crammed and tiny and trying to grab onto something so small so I feel like this size is actually great for me but I am just going to use that 180 grit. 180 grit, it's giving enough grit for gel polish to grab onto without the gel polish wanting to peel away. And making sure that if there was any harsh lines from me drilling or smoothing out the cuticle, um, basically it is going to erase all of that or any scratches that I did end up making with the hand file on the sides of the nails. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use an extend gel. It is in Carla. This one is very, very pretty. If you are looking for a gel that it does mimic the colors of colored acrylic, I do definitely recommend going in with this just because it's not super, super pigmented where the color looks just like a gel polish. It ends up looking like actual acrylic to me. So I definitely recommend getting this but I do more recommend this for hard gel manicure. I know some people they'll put the extend gel on the inside of the nail for the color. And honestly, you guys, 
for me, that's not my favorite. I ends up, I feel like it ends up being a hot mess for me. I've tried it, and it's not my favorite way to apply it. So I like to apply it on the top. But I do feel like I still have to go in after I apply it and actually shape it. So if you guys are able to find a color that is just a regular gel and you could apply two coats of it and be good, um, I definitely recommend getting that if you want to use it as a polish instead of a builder gel because that's basically what this is, is a builder gel. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the French tips. And these are what I did for her nails as I ended up doing a French tip. I used a striker brush to make sure that the lines came out nice, steady, and clean. And I was going to actually do hearts with the brush, but I changed my mind. Um, but she did want a very, very thin line of pink, so that's what we're going to be doing with the brush. And we are going to be using the dotting tool to create some hearts in just a second. But for the pinky and the pointer finger, you will see that I am using this very, very thin brush to do my little lines. I don't have to plan it. I can go change my fate. You won't understand it. All alone, that's okay. People like it, stand them. They don't want me to change. Keep me where I'm standing. And I don't wanna be where I am. And I want something more. Take a chance. It could be possibly my last dance. My last dance. I don't wanna let myself. And now I'm going to go ahead and get a medium dotting tool. You guys could even get a larger one if you want the parts to be more prominent. But I still wanted everything to be like nice and dainty. So I did end up going with that medium one. And when you apply the dots, you don't want them to completely touch. But just be almost side by side. And then go into a V and then fill it in. I feel like doing it this way, I do really feel like... The heart, it does, like, because sometimes I do feel like when you do the the dots super, super close together, I feel like it ends up bleeding together and it wants to become one big dot. So definitely make sure you have a little gap in between there just so you could prevent it from doing that. And get your very thin striping brush and just create that V and fill it in. And then we're going to go ahead and cure that. We're going to cure that for around 60 seconds just to make sure that it is all nice and cured so when we apply our top coat that we don't have any bleeding or anything like that going on and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other hand
place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Alright you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this top coat. The top coat that I am using is from Tracy's now. It is the bomb, so definitely recommend checking that out. And just in case you guys wanted to know what that pink was, that pink was actually number 51. And that one was also from Tracy's Nails as well. And I do also like to keep a little um, cleanup brush off to the side just to make sure I'm cleaning up those cuticles if it is needed. Alright you guys, and after my client cures for 60 seconds, I am going to go ahead and get a little brush and I am going to be putting her cuticle oil. The cuticle oil that I do use is called C-U-C-C-I-O. I don't know how to pronounce it whatsoever, but I do like to use this little brush and making sure that I am basically painting the cuticle oil on around her cuticles. The reason why I don't apply it and then rub it in with my thumbs is because I do not want that cuticle oil all over her nails because I don't feel like, um, I feel like especially since I'm going to take pictures after this, I want the nails to not look foggy or anything like that. Alright you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. You guys will be able to see what this beautiful set looks like just right now. But if you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think. Bye!